Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. Here we share beginner friendly tutorial videos on Scratch, Roblox, Minecraft, web programming and many more. And today we're going to create a Chinese Zodiac generator in Python. So let's get coding. The first thing that we will we'll need to do is to import every important library that we will use. And um, different libraries in Python enable us to do different things. There is quite a lot of them. And in our case, we're going to use a library called PIL or PIL, which stands for Python Imaging Library. This Python Imaging Library um, will enable us to open the Chinese Zodiac file at the very end. So let's write our first line, which is from PIL capitalized import um, image. And right now we're going to get the input from the user. So name equals input. We're going to use the function input, um, which enables the user to write something and we will save it. And also inside the brackets, you can specify what kind of question do you want to ask. And um, so what is your name? This will be the first question. Now, we're also going to check what is the year of birth. So year equals input, what is your birth year? Okay, now the only problem with that is that in order to calculate the Chinese zodiac, you need to treat the year as a number because you need to divide it, subtract things from it and so on. But input returns a string, which means it's a string of characters and it's not really recognized as a number and you can't divide it by uh, a number, for instance. So in order to change it into a number, we need to write int, open bracket and close the bracket at the very end. This stands for integer and integers are numbers like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. So like normal numbers. And we already have all the data. So right now we're going to create, um, we're going to calculate the Chinese zodiac. So we're going to use something called conditional statements. And, and we're, start, we're, we're going to start for, uh, from an if statement. So this is a simple condition. If something happens, then something else happens too. And the condition for the Chinese zodiac is yeah minus. 2000 and its remainder from division by 12. So if the remainder from division by 12 is equal to zero, so if it's um, if you can divide it by 12, the sign is going to be a dragon. Okay, and we're going to do a similar thing for every kind of Chinese zodiac. So then we're going to use another conditional statement, but this one is going to be slightly different. So else, uh, L if, so else if, yeah, minus 200, 2000, sorry, yep, 2000, uh, and its remainder from division by 12 is equal to one. Then we will have a snake. Okay, and the reason why we use else if is that it enables us not to check it at all if the first condition is true. So suppose we find that it is equal to zero, that it is, that it is a dragon, um, and then we will not change, uh, we will not check anything that it is below anymore. So we will just say, okay, it's a dragon, fine. We'll, we'll leave it at that. Um, so there will, will not be too many unnecessary calculations. And you can also see a pattern emerging, right? Because we have the division by 12, you have different remainders, we have minus 200 every time. And actually, what you can do is copy and paste this um, so that you can have different animals but written in the same way. So let's copy and paste it actually. Uh, and then we're going to only change the different 
different numbers at the end and also different names of the zodiac because they're different zodiacs. So then let's change all the remainders to all the numbers from zero to 10. And then we're going to write every possible Chinese zodiac. So after the snake comes the horse. So let's make it a horse and then a sheep and then a monkey. And after a monkey, we have a rooster. And after the rooster, we have a dog. And after the dog, we have the pig and the rat and an ox. So that's going to be another one and also a tiger. Now, if you if you know all the Chinese zodiacs by heart or if you just counted uh, what I what I have just done, you will see that there is one missing because here is uh, here we have only 11 of them. And the reason behind that is that the last done is actually going to be a little bit different. Because we can, of course, write L if, yeah, minus 200 percent sign 12 equals 11, then do something else. But actually, the remainders of division by 12 are only between 0 and 11. So we already know that we have already check all the other options. So if it's not zero, not one, and nothing be between zero and 10, then it must be 11, there is no other option. So we don't need to check this additionally, we can just write else. So in any other case, which will be the case when it's 11, the sign equals hair. Okay, and this is everything when it comes to the calculation. Now let's display the results to the user. So we're going to print a message. So the message will be name. And the name will be, um, and after the name we will call the year in which the user was born. So we will display a short message and write that your Chinese zodiac is and then we will add the sign. So sign is the name of, of the zodiac of the animal corresponding to the zodiac. And the user will hopefully see the correct Chinese zodiac that they belong to. Okay, and now what about pictures? Um, so the only thing that's left is showing the picture. So let's create the image path. So let's call it image name. And this will be the place where our picture is located. So firstly, we will check in the pictures folder and then we're going to look for the right Chinese zodiac. And then we're going to open the image using pill. So let's say we want to open the image like that. So we need to use the image.open function. And the image.open function can have the name inside the parentheses. So this is because pill needs to know which kind of image we want to have opened. Okay. So then we just call the method called show. So we have an image name and then we search for this image and then we show it to the user. And this should be everything. So let's check if it works. So let's run the program. OK, so we see the first question. What is your name? So we write something. And what is your birth? Yeah, OK, we also write something. 
Okay, so we see the message. Your Chinese zodiac is rad. Um, it's good. And then a lot of windows pop up, pop up. But the most important thing is that we are able to see this beautiful rat at the very end. So it is the same as in the message. One is rat and the other is rat as well. So it works. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for following us. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like our video. Um, while you're waiting for the next video to arrive, you can also check out all the other tutorials that are already available on our channel. Once again, thank you very much and bye bye.